Hi, it's Darren from Martin Deerline. Uh, today I'm going to go through the section control adjustments and timings for on the, uh, for the, on the 1870 air seater and 1910 cart. When we're doing our section control adjustments, one of the things we need to do is we need to adjust our timings of the time it takes for the product to come out of the tank and get to the openers. There's a delay in that time and that delay is in the machine outer and inner on the hoses. That's how come we end up with a chevron pattern on the seed on, on normal air seeders because that time it takes longer for the material to get to the outer wings than it does to get to the inner parts of the tool and that timing adjustment helps us take away that uh, chevron pattern. So when we are going to measure those things, we're going to go outside and measure those things after. When we do that, this is where we're entering that time in here. So we have the turn on times and the turn off times for the outers and for the inners. When we do that adjustment at that point, once you've done that adjustment, you shouldn't have to do it anymore. That is just an adjustment making up for the time delays that are actually in the section control when you're section controlling and wanting to not have chevron pattern. So now we're out at the tool and we're going to measure those those timings to get them set correctly. So what we're going to have is you have your machine is fully charged and ready to go. Uh, we're ready to seed basically. You have the tractor running and the fan is turned on uh, as if you were seeding. So our fan time is turned on and everything. Uh, so we're going to we're actually going to inject product into the unit and measure how long it takes from when I turn the switch on and start putting the product down the line to where it's coming out at the openers. I've got Corey, my partner in crime, is, is out there measuring the time, how long it takes, and then we're going to input those times into the monitor that we were looking at. So now with everything running, the tractor uh, is run, would be running, the fan is on, and now we're gonna come over here and I'm going to come to this switch here, and this switch, is, is what you use for calibration or doing a meter check, checking underneath to see if your product is coming out. So I'm going to look at Corey and we're going to get set and I'm going to put my hand up and I'm saying I'm going to start the switch now and Corey will be timing it. So as Corey is timing and he's watching till product comes out and meets his hand and at that point I let go of the switch. And then we're going to record how long that took and I turned the switch on till Corey caught product and that's our turn on time uh, and then we're going to input that in the monitor. The next part of that of course is we're going to measure our turn off time. So the same type thing uh, just a little different how we're doing it now. Now I'm going to hold the switch on and the product is actually coming and once the product is coming out Corey's going to zero his time and he's going to say when he's ready and he's I'm going to turn the switch off and he's going to measure how long it takes until the product stops flowing and that's our turn off time so the one you're measuring how long it takes till the product comes out the opener on the other you're measuring how long it takes for the product to stop okay so now we've measured those times and we have those times so our next step then is to input input those times into the monitor so we're going to go into the section control. Uh, our outer time, our turn on time was 3.2 seconds. Right there. And our turn off time was 2.4 seconds. So now we have those inputted in there. So those times are going to be... We, or into the monitor. Now we have to do that for each meter box because of course each meter box is a farther distance away from the tool. So we're going to do that same time, same thing for each meter. Uh, but it's the exact same thing and then you just put those inputs in here. Uh, there's a difference of about 0.2 seconds per meter box type thing. Then after we get done that, then we're going to do the inners as well. Uh, when Once a guy has that done and put those inputs in, We've now covered everything that we need to do to make our to eliminate any uh, chance of us having a chevron pattern and having our section control set up correctly for the time that it takes and the delays for the product to come out of the drill.